I think they're going to screen some footage from the film. I know they're not screening the whole film. So there's that. Um, very exciting, I think. Um, and the reason not screening the whole film is because there are so many new things that happen in it. Things that have never happened before in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But it's just more exciting if everyone in the world sees the film at the same time, which is April the 26th or April the 27th, I think. Um, so that feels new for me, having been in the, the Marvel Universe for a while. I think that what I love about Loki is that he, I've been able to, I've been lucky enough to step into an archetype. And he's the trickster. Every mythology, you know, since we, human beings began telling stories, has had a trickster whose job it is to create chaos and disrupt the convention. And, and in a way, my great good fortune is that Loki's always having a good time. And so it's my job to turn up on set and have a good time. It's amazing. I mean, I, I, I love working with new actors all the time. I love working with actors I've already worked with, like Chris Hemsworth and Robert Downey Jr. and Mark Ruffalo. But to work with new people, um, to see the Guardians on set, to see Josh Brolin, who was having the time of his life playing Thanos, um, it's really exciting. And then the new generation, I just, I think with everybody else, saw Black Panther um, only a couple of weeks ago. And that whole cast is dazzling. And um, I was talking to Letitia Wright earlier today, who's um, who feels like the new kid on the block. And you know, it's, it's her territory now. Absolutely. I think what's great about Marvel is they've always understood the power of the films comes from the character. And they started that with Tony Stark, um, with the first Iron Man film. And they really believe in creating great characters who are complex and and different and will work well together or not work well in an interesting way. And I think so I think the reason we're at this point where there are now however many twenty or thirty leading characters is that all the characters feel like they have their own integrity. Um, and that's always been the first thing. Character first, um, story second or equal first and then if you've got good characters and a good story you can't lose.